in this episode of the Urban Guild Review Show. I discuss a word I said. I said the word butter. Jules gets possessive. That's my gold bar. And Ben says something that makes us laugh. Clearly <laughs> in the... <laughs> what's, that, what's that word? All this and more when the Bourbon Guild review Blanton's Gold. What, what song do you remember? Uh, Up Chaos Weaver. Girl. Chaos Weaver's good. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild review show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. I am Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield. All right, guys. Special episode here because we're wow. reviewing. They're all special. One, they are all special, but this <laughs> one is more special than the others. That's true. Because we're reviewing Blanton's Gold. <laughs> you better give it perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So what is this? This is a version of Blanton's that is only available overseas, unless you buy it from somebody here that's bought it overseas <laughs> and then brought it back to the U.S. <laughs> all right. Um, as you can see, there's gold all over this. We pull the bottle out and. Bam. Wow. 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 Super shiny. Super yeah. shiny. shiny. We have a clear bottle with gold writing and a gold horse on top. Even Dude. this color is like classic. Yeah. I mean, have Dude, you ever seen so much gold? They even labeled the red. That is a lot of gold. Uh, so Jules, Jules is going to love <laughs> right it. I like, mean, that's it. It's gold. perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Right, you know what, Jules? The reason I, I knew you were going to like this <laughs> so totally. much that I went out and I got you a gold bar <laughs> oh! of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> that you can have after this show wow. to try out because I know how much Holy. you like the ring. Wow. It's no a way, gold, gold, gold. I, will, I will point out, I didn't get the I'm full size away. bottle. I got the sample size bottle because, <laughs> come on. That's perfect. That's marketing. Dude, thank you. Okay. Wow. Thank you. We'll, we'll get to that wow. after we touch this Oh, one. man. He that is freaking gold. <laughs> That's my gold bar. <laughs> Oh, man. Dude. That is your gold bar. Yes. Wow. Um, all right, all right, guys. But uh, this is <laughs> this is an I I absolutely love this bottle. Yeah. I mean, it so is it's beautiful. Good. It's like if you could make the Blanton's bottle even better, yeah. they did it with this. Yeah. yeah. No sticker. It, yeah. They made yeah. it gold. No sticker, Just the writing on the it. On all there. you see is the beautiful golden juice inside. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this bottle was procured in uh, when I was in London. So it has the little UK sticker on it. All right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so the differences are that obviously this is a smaller bottle, 700 milliliters, which is what you find with a lot of the export bourbons. Um, the other difference is, is this is bottled at 103 proof or 51.5% yes. alcohol. Wow. So that's why it's right gold. up your alley. That's, that's why it's gold. <laughs> so the stats, the stats on this particular bottle are uh, it was dumped on July 18th, 2016. From barrel number 1260 on Rick number six. And this is bottle number 16 from that dumping. Hmm. Um, gotta love the fact that Blanton's does that on every single bottle, even the ones that export. And you know, when they write it in with a pen, they wrote it in with a gold marker. Wow. Wow. Really? The detail. No written, yeah, the written stuff is written Sold. with a gold. <laughs> Sold. Sold. Detail. Ten. You don't even need 11. a bottle. <laughs> 11. 11. <laughs> um, also, oh, just pointing out the horse. Is gold. It is not I the know. pewter color yep. of the other ones. Um, just a brilliant bottle. Yeah. Um, yeah. So well done. I was able to get this for. I actually got two different bottles when when I was there. I think one was around sixty five pounds. The other was around seventy five pounds, which equates to around eighty five U S dollars. Ben, you picked some of this up in Germany as well. I did. I paid eighty two euro, hmm. which so around the same price. Yeah, the the pound sterling's a little bit more highly valued than the euro, so it works about out about right. Yeah. Um, but just absolutely beautiful bottle. So let's crack this open and um, let's get to it. Let's get our background. All right. So yeah, I mean, I think I've done this multiple times, but this is a Age International slash Sazerac Buffalo Trace mash bill number two, age six to eight years, uh, one hundred and three proof. <laughs> wow. Me the yeah. So retail price is around eighty five dollars. So here's a here's a deal with this. Um, it is thought to be the pinnacle. Of the range. Mm. Really? Uh, yeah. Wait, not straight from the barrel? Not straight from the barrel. This is huh. uh, considered the pinnacle. Um, well. The reason well. for this is that yeah. they it's, they it's actually... It's high quality plastic wrap. I mean, yeah. it's not the thin stuff. Yeah, wow. so here's the thing. They actually go through and pick very, very select barrels. Really? So huh. they, go, they do the extra mile to make sure that they pick kind of the creme de la creme mm -hmm. out of it 
to do this at oh. 103. So, I, you know, thought of it as one of the best by many, many, many folks. So, um, hmm. I think I'm going to... You, you guys didn't want me to talk about all the other stuff, so I'll just stop there. Yeah, so we'll go, I'll go ahead and start pouring this. Why don't you give us our scoring card? Yeah. yeah, if you guys are new to the Bourbon Guild, we have a 10-point grading system. We give uh, two points for aroma, or the nose, three points for complexity, two points for drinkability... Three points for uniqueness and a bonus point for value. So for us, value we look at its availability and price point. So full disclosure, I drank some of this when I was in London in a couple bars, and nice. I am biased coming into this. So <laughs> I will, as usual, I will do my best to right just just review pour. the glass in front of me. <laughs> Maybe <it's... gasps> oh my gosh, how much? How much did you pour? So like 700 pour, mils. A Ben Richard size. <laughs> a butcher size. Butcher size, yeah. All right, Sorry. guys, let's get let's get taste in here. All right. You know the amazing thing is, is like, does this truly, look gold? It truly is a gold right? color. Yeah, it looks the, gold. The color yeah. it looks crazy. I love gold. <laughs> we'll cut that. <laughs> That's comedy gold. <laughs> no, it is not. You guys missed my golden child reference to the. Golden. I got it. Oh, yes, yes, we got it. But I, I want the knife. Yes. Oh man, I'm really struggling here, guys. Yeah, me too. Really? Wow. All right, well, let's, I want to talk about it. On then, one category. On one category. I want to talk about it because I'm pretty definitive with my score. Okay. But I hope. Oh. When you see this, got a little bit of evolution on this. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. See, I think that you're getting what I've been getting. Are you guys ready to talk about this? I'm, I'm ready. ready to go. Ready. All right, guys. Let's get our total scores. Let's do it. I gave it a nine. Wow, nine point five. That's wow. that's I know, about. I'm right. shocked. Give it a ten. Oh wow! My God. I was not expecting okay, that. I was not expecting I, that though. I'm actually shocked. Oh, wow, yeah. man. Wow, eight point five. Wow. What? what? And I'll come up. All right, so I think I'll so, <laughs> so for the viewers by default. Okay, I don't know what I gave the other Blantons right. or whatever, but you I hope I am consistent. I Pretty hope sure. I am consistent. When you go down the line. All right, guys, let's let's kick it off with aroma. I said the word butter. Yeah, as no. we were tasting, and I got yeah. like a butter totally. and a grape. I mean, one point five for me. If I had gotten something mm. other than the fruit, I would have given it more. But really, the main thing I got was the fruit. I, I gotta say, I can't I can't cheers you on it because I don't have I have a different score. But my I, I get the ghee. Yeah, I get the ghee. ghee. Yeah, it's like a butter, ghee butter. Oh, fine butter, ghee yep. butter. Mm -hmm. Yep, ghee uh, butter. Two point oh, yeah. two point oh, one point five. Ghee yeah. butter. Oh, oh well, I, no, wait. and I take back my cheers. Wait, wait. So but, let's get this straight because we oh, all wait. cheers here, right? One point yeah, five. Sorry, I thought we all had hey, two. Hey, let's get our scores. One point five. Two. Two. Oh, okay. two. 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 How do you not have a two? How do you not have a two? Because I didn't get any of the spice. I was gonna say spice is missing. I didn't get any on the nose. On the nose, yeah. So, so, on the, yes. so on the okay. nose. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting the ghee. I'm getting yep. plum. I'm yep. just getting. I got yep. white grape. No, no, no. That was it. Yeah, no. I got white grape. I got. I got. Grape. I got, no. I got, a, I got a. I got a sharp it's, it's fruit, but I got a really, fruit. really ripe plum. Yeah. Smell it again. Yep. That's fine. Learn. But you haven't described the spice yet. So Learn that's exactly. Where's the spice it. and where's the? Oh. Yeah. I got the spice. Spice is right at the end. <laughs> I got butter. Spice I got, is right at the end. You know it's, not, got, it's not the cinnamon. The it's not the cinnamon like the birthday bourbon. Mm. I admit. Okay. okay. But it is a very, very subtle and beautifully balanced spice right at the end yes. in terms of the aroma. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Then, then, and I got buttered popcorn yes. with the yeah, butter. Well, not just the butter, but the man. buttered popcorn caramel po caramel corn. I was going to say, I had like, uh, if you guys yeah. ever had Popcornopolis, like yes. Chicago style, yeah. like, yeah, butter like that really caramel, hot, the deep dish popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you get that savory back note. Deep oh, dish. God. <laughs> this, uh, this is why we can't have nice things, astute viewer. <laughs> um, anyway. one, thing I, one thing I'll point out is, like, you know, sometimes you talk about like that oily kind of like Oh, like a kettle flavor. corn in a, in a, mm. on the palate. I've never gotten it like this on the nose. No. Yeah, yeah, same it's here. really, same really here. interesting. Because I didn't really get it on the palate. It's weird, yeah, no, right? Because you yeah, never, you would never describe like butter mm -hmm. with yeah. bourbon, and yet you get it's that. Like, you get you that. Get the hit, really man, I mean, yeah. This All right, guys, let's like in the movie theater. Uh, so one thing I wanted to point out, actually, Rock Hill Farms. Yeah. Same mash bill, close to the same proof, 100 proof. Completely different. Aroma. Completely different. Completely different. That's really different. Yeah. It's yeah. so different. I, that's what blew a, my mind. I thought, I don't is get this it. just going to taste like Rock Hill Farms turned up a little bit? It's completely different. No, different. Completely it's different. 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 Yeah. Okay, guys, next category, complexity. I initially had a two. 
And as I kept tasting it, the spice came through. It was a 2.5. It's happened, folks. It's happened. Look at that. Did I? Crescent moon. Well, one because, of us did, and the slow mo will prove who did it. It's because if it's me, it's because I filled my glass too high. I'm well, sorry. you didn't drink enough of it. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, okay, guys, two point five. I mean, man. this this really hits. Yeah, everything. it hits everything. Yeah, everything. Check mark. Check oh, mark. Check mark. I, I think that, why well, not why three? Not perfect. If it if it, there's not a strong enough anchor flavor for me. <laughs> it's it's it is close, but it, it's just I feel like it could. There could be something that kind of rounds it out a little bit more. There could be a stronger anchor. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like the I spice feel... isn't anchoring it. Yeah. The fruit's not anchoring it. And the oak is not anchoring it. They're all there. And they're in a great balance. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, Disagree. And I, I think for me the reason it's not perfect is because I think the finish could have been more. Like there, there's some ump missing. And, and and that's literally it. Just slightly missing. Other than that, it's a great drink. So. Okay. So I'll give you the right answer. So <laughs> here's the deal. For the same, you score. know what's missing? It's it's the richness that you get from a longer aged bourbon. Exactly. That Thank is what's you. missing. That Thank is what's you. missing. So a little bit more depth. Just a little bit more. It's right there. Yeah, it's, it's right really there. Close. It's really yeah, if close. Yeah. If you push it a little bit longer at yeah. this proof, but can I, spice sweet. Can I throw something out here? Fruit. But I'll let you finish, man. Go ahead. No, Go spice sweet fruit. It's all there. The only thing I would say is exactly what Dylan would say is that there's a maturity level. That yeah, you put this, you you sit on yeah. this for an eight, like eight to twelve years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, guys, but, so that, what's here is that, that's, what I'm, that's what I was going to get to. I was kind of thinking, is this the BTAC version of Blanton's, or mm -hmm. if they just had a ten or twelve year aged, would it would that be it? Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a really good question because the straight from the barrel. Is the, the barrel George yeah. Yeah. Stag we version? Got a version. Yeah. We got to review that and. Uh, you know that's pretty good if you get a good barrel, a yeah. good bottle. Yeah. This would be pretty good blind. Uh, yeah, that'd be a good blind. But it's a different, different mash bill. Yeah, I know. Very different, different flavor mash. profile. Yeah. So when we get to but the it's almost like barrel, you want to see then which one you gravitate towards. Well, I just I also right? think the way they designed the bottle, it's very know, similar. I mean, like just, you know, yeah. the clear bottle with just some writing on it. Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. similar. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just true. a thought. Like because there's no there's good no point. mash bill number two, is there? On the on the BTAC. Yeah, if the, if the proof it's, was a little it's, bit it's higher, Eagle Rare, George T. Stag, mm -hmm. which are both Nashville number two, and then the Rue Weller, which is the the weeded Nashville. I would say so, this is the the Weller of the 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 lineup. Then, hmm. I mean, it's really good. Hmm. So yeah, it's more like true. the Eagle Rare, which is watered, you know, to a certain. Proof. Anyway, right. uh, let's get let's get moving to the next category: drinkability. This is a perfect two. Perfect two. This is the perfect. this is one of the wow. this is what I was saying. Nice. Unanimity. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. If I could give something a three on drinkability, this yeah. would be it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's still Perfect. lingering. Yeah. I, yes. I'm still tasting yeah. the flavor. It's yes. just a long, smooth, yeah. beautiful finish. Perfect. Yep. That's a perfect. Oh, right. Everything Dylan said. All right. That was the quickest Good. we've ever gotten yeah. to drinkability. Uh, next category, uniqueness. Oh, come on. 2.5 for me. Three. 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 Perfect. Come on. Three. Ben? I mean, the ben, bottle Martin. alone should be like three. A one. The bottle alone's three. Ben? And the flavor should be ben. like 2.5. It should be ben? like a 3.5. Let's, let's see. Let's, let's see. Watch it finish. Okay. <laughs> and oh, I gave this a two, and I'd come up to a two. Wrong. I mean, that's wrong. <laughs> well, I want to hear him out because I think I might agree with you. I think he gave a Jim Bean a two. <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> Wow! I, I was gonna wait. I, I, I was. It, it was only a matter ben, of time until the holy name was invoked. But Ben, I gave <laughs> anyway. it. I gave it, it, it a two for all the flavor. <laughs> I gave it a two for the flavor. I'd be considering going to a point five because of the gold that's what I, bottle. Come on, that's exactly. what I come on. the bottle. Come the on! The bottle. Are fact, you kidding me? Here's my problem. This is the right. most sheer bottle I've ever seen. Let's yeah. Here's let's my let's problem, hear. and this is what I wanted to talk about all through the flavors. But honestly, this shit is so damn good. Like, this is where I got to talk about it. There are flavors here that are very clearly represented in the. <laughs> what's that? What's that word? Represented. <laughs> tall. You gotta do a, re a, re a re it's rewind. Very, very... <laughs> represented. 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 In Blanton's green. This is huh? what this is dialed what? up a what? lot. Let yeah. me finish you. 
Okay, go. All right, go. go. Don't take so long then. There's a lot of similar notes that are muted and 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 thin, but there are similarities to this in Blanton's Green, and I don't think it's unique. From a flavor perspective, what I do think is unique is how awesome those flavors dialed up to this proof and in this okay. bottle are amazing. Can I talk now? And I'd give a 0.5 to the gold, so I'll come up to a 0.5, you a a a to a 2.5. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to make my score a 9. Okay. All so right. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're, on, we're on par now, man. You and me, nines. Um, but so the reason that I, gave, I didn't give it that last 0.5 is that there are four... Five different kinds of plants out there. Well, six. That. There's a six. silver. There's oh, a really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? With the gold? There's a silver. There's a black. There's a wait, green. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. There's is, a is yellow gold. gold. Silver? Yes. There's a white gold. There's a yellow gold. Well, the next green. year they're going to come out oh, with I'm a Oh, I'm glad. Oh, you I mean, know what? If you ever go to the gold. Olympics, make sure you get the silver. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> burn. Nah. Right, you're going to need some agree cream for to that disagree. burn. Oh, let's get burn. to our last category. Yeah, let's get there. For value, because I gave it a 0.5. I gave it a point five. Me too. I, I all things it. considered, all I things considered, all, yeah, all things considered, it is still yeah. such an amazing Four, bourbon, and yeah. you're only paying eighty yeah. bucks. Eighty. Yeah, I, I can't believe. Even it. if you have to travel um, to Europe, it is yeah. there's yeah. something to this. It's it's shocking. Yeah. I mean, totally you want right. this on your shelf. Oh yeah, totally. And so the value in I that. Mean, I'm for going to London to go yeah. get me a bottle. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So. Ben, you disagree with us. Pause. Ben, pause for dramatic well, effect. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap. Ben, for what's the I know. Go grab this off a local shelf in the United States and get and get a point five on value for it. No, it's in Europe. <laughs> it's not in the United States. You can't just go and buy this. If you happen to travel internationally, or hey, if you're military, or if you've got family who travel and they can pick up a bottle of this, yeah. Pay the 85 euro. <laughs> sure. So basically, if you, you know someone in the military, if you have a family member, yeah. buy you this never go to the, or if you're in the to United States. Okay. If done and done. done. Zero. Then, then. I brought my own bottle back after paying 85 euro for it, 82 euro for it. <laughs> ben, it's a perfectly defensible position. Yeah. No, it I is. get it. It really it's is. Not giving me sh we get it. We get yeah, it. Yeah, it will be a show. Um, all right, guys. Let's wrap this up. Yeah, it's not a value. Let's get wow. our... Let's not get a value. Our, it's great. It's not a value. Let's get our final tally here. Ben. Fair enough, ben. Nine from the butcher. Wow. Let's it's go. not a f***ing value. 10.0 10. Right? 10. 10. ultra value. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> ultra value. I'm not going to cheers for that. 9.5. <laughs> I'm gonna cheers you. Which just is pretty much 10 from me. I'm gonna cheers you because you gave something a 10. And, uh, 10. That's and cool. I also gave it a nine. Four. Our official score for yeah, well, what a contentious like debate, so even though we're all like in I know, we're all in the legend. legend. How this much of a legend, legend is this, legend, right? Legend. Yeah. What kind of legend is it? Yeah. Bourbon Guild score for Blanton's Gold. This is legendary, guys. 9.375. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Wow. This is like goat. Shouldn't you? <laughs> this That's is goat. like goat. Greatest I mean, time? come I on, dude. No, this no, no. Is goat. You should. I, I'm just shocked that you gave this score. Seriously. I mean, because. I thought you were going to give it 11. Seriously. I, I'm, I'm just no, shocked. See, I, I, you know, I'm actually trying this to do our job. This is actually close to the perfect you know. bourbon for Dylan. Right. Yeah. For, uh, for Jules. Yeah, no, seriously, this is. I mean. Yeah. I know, mine's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> mine's perfect. Right. 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 too, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, hey, Jules, wow. take us out. Well, you guys tell us what you think in the comments below. Were you guys able to get a bottle of the gold? Uh, let us know. Let Ben know in particular. <laughs> exactly. How you got if you your got bottle one. of gold. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and our website. And okay. tip your bartenders in Europe because that's where you'll be when you're buying a bottle of this because you can't buy it in the United States. I'm also, sick. tip your bartenders in the United States because they deserve it too. And what's that bar? What's the bar? In your oh, tip your bartenders at Cross Bar in Sligo, Ireland. Yeah. And they listen, have whiskey. And listen to Star Symmetry. Oh, there you go. That's all there you got. Go. Bourbon Guild out. He's willing to go there and get a shirt <laughs> from abroad. <laughs> yeah, no, the, sh up. no the, the shirt has a zero on value too. Let's <laughs> open, right, open this gold bar, dude. Oh this yeah, bar, yeah, this is bust legit, over that. bro. This is let's legit. get all <laughs> on that. Oh jeez. All right, Dutch, you got the hands. How the hell do you open this? Thing? I don't know. That's why I, I don't want to break it. It's like a pop. I don't. Well, I tried that, but it's like the Da Vinci. Part. <laughs>
Oh, it's, it's coming off. It's like a, what do you call it? Just straight out. Oh, jeez. Wow, it's that like is codex. ugly. <laughs> that is some... That's the whole bottle. Huh. It's Bootsy. a codex. Whiskey. I've had this before, though. I've given this as a gift. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, the, 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 big, full, the, the full big bottle was like... Yeah. I'm not paying fifty bucks for a no, geez, yeah. yeah. A fake it was actually, luck. it was actually, uh, it got some award or whatever. <sighs> so what? this is a, double silver. <laughs> this is distilled from three grains. It's a blended whiskey finished in California <laughs> casks. Eighty proof. I can't believe I spilled my Blanton's gold. I'm sorry. I don't know that I want that much. I don't even want that. This is not an official oh, wow. review. Weird. Like, we can't review this because it's not bourbon. Okay, well then I'll start. There's nothing on the nose. Yeah. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Special Gold Bar Whiskey Edition. I am Ben Richards. It's like a regular scotch. It tastes like nothing. No. It, no? I'm not getting You want to go down the line? The thing is, we went from, like, one of our yeah, highest rated I mean, bourbons ever to Yeah, and that's the thing in, the, in this defense. I smell yeah. banana and peat. I'm not drinking this. It's yeah, not horrible, people. but it's it's not horrible. It's, it's not pretty bad. smooth. I mean, I, smooth. I would say like if you've never had whiskey before and you pick that up because of the bottle, you'll be like, oh, this is pretty tasty. Yeah. 